Hey everyone, today I'm going to do something a bit different. I'm going to go up a tall building to draw. So I'm at this new flat here. Let me go into the lift. This is a new flat that has just been built and it has 36 floors, which is great because I'm going to draw from the top today. Let me just put down my skateboard. I'm sorry about the noise downstairs. They are doing some construction. Anyway, the reason why I'm up here today is because I want to create a series of sketches that I can use as examples when I'm reviewing uh, the watercolor products that I have bought in Japan, like the Hobine, Mimery Blue, Kusaka Bay. And there is no easy way for me to review them if I do not use them enough and also provide example sketches. So over the next few days and weeks, I'll be going to different tall uh, buildings in Singapore to draw. So today I'm up here. So this is my neighborhood. Let's take a look on the left side. All of these are public housing, residential estate, which is why I'm able to come up here I'm not sure if I can actually see my block. My block is actually somewhere over there, just behind the trees there. So today I'm going to draw from the 36th floor of this building. There is a lot of work to be done today. Um, let me show you the sketchbook that I have just bought. This is the Strathmore Visual Journal. 300 GSM watercolor paper. I'm going to use this today. There are 22 sheets. So this is going to take me a while to fill. I have also brought with me my tripod so that I can film myself. I hope I can get everything into the camera. Today I'm using my Pelican M200 fountain pen as usual and this is the Strathmore watercolor sketch pad. I'm going to time-lapse this version because I have a feeling that I'm going to take a long time to draw this scene there. There's a lot to draw. Alright, this is the completed sketch. I only managed to capture about 70% of what I wanted. So there are actually some parts here on the left side that I did not manage to get them in. There are still a lot of buildings here which I thought were quite interesting. So those I did not manage to squeeze in. And on this side here, there are also a lot of buildings here I did not manage to squeeze in. And the reason for that is because I wanted to 
fill up the page so I had to draw this uh, this building here quite big and as a result of this building being big um, I have to draw all the other buildings around this building that's big so I did not uh, manage to capture all the rest but I think this uh, should work let me show you the scene that I have captured so this is the road that I captured on the left side and you can see some buildings on this side as well so that's uh, the road and there are some buildings here and this is the main building now notice that when I'm pointing my camera to this building this vertical line here this is actually tilted so this is not really vertical but when I'm drawing when I'm looking at the building with my eye it is vertical so that's the distortion of this particular lens and on the right side I only managed to capture until about um, this section here this building so all this part here I did not manage to squeeze it in which I think it's all right for the buildings that are in front I try to draw them with thicker lines and for the buildings that are further behind I drew them with thinner lines because they are further away they should be smaller the lines should be thinner as well they should not grab as much attention compared to those buildings that are in the foreground and here there is this little rooftop garden which I managed to capture a bit so that's the end of this pen and ink section I'm going to color this at home I'm going to head back home now but before I do that I'm going to check out the view from the other building that's just right across the street so that's a similar building as this one so I probably can get a good view over there so that's the building that I drew from earlier and this is the building that I'm going to this building has 38 floors instead of 36 so it's two floors higher than the other building okay let's go out so this is the view from the other side it's quite nice as well I will come back here again to draw that's the swimming pool that I used to go to 20 years ago alright that concludes my sketching trip today just now while I was sketching there were actually two policemen who came up and uh, took my particulars down um, I, I think they probably know what I'm doing there I have a sketch pad and I have a camera pointing to my sketch pad taking a time-lapse video drawing from tall buildings is fun and challenging um, it's also very time consuming to make this kind of video so I'm not sure how long I will be able to continue this series but hopefully I can get a few videos going so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video I'm going for lunch now I'm quite hungry thanks for watching I hope this is sort of entertaining and a bit different from other videos that I made so far bye see you in the next video oh remember to subscribe if you haven't